Hi Cancer, welcome to this reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs, though you might find it resonates more if Cancer is your Moon or Rising Sign. Temperance, a balancing out, a healing, and I mean that's classic isn't it, in these high vibrational soul connections that we are healing, we're triggering one another, we're helping to heal one another, to heal ourselves. Um, you or your person may be facing some inner wounding that has kept you from speaking your truth standing up for yourself or letting people know when you're not happy when something's wrong um, maybe one of you has felt that you have to kind of if I say manipulate to get what you want that sounds really really bad but let's give an example let's say a child grows up with a volatile parent that child understands that they can't just go to the parent and say I don't want to have eggs for dinner anymore can I have I don't know broccoli you know because that parent might take it the wrong way they might freak out so the child understands that they have to kind of manipulate the situation broach the subject gently and it, it's a learned behavior for survival you know it's not a deliberate nasty form of manipulation but it's just become um you know it, it becomes something that child does and it becomes a part of their psyche and how they grow up so someone here you or your person applying as it resonates is learning to undo those behavior patterns because in this connection there's no need for things like that you know you can come to one another and speak your truth and um, expect to be heard and appreciated and this is a new experience for whoever this person is yeah, the tower in the reverse and we have the queen of pentacles so undoing some some wounds that were possibly created by a mother or a mother figure here you know we we don't always have to sort of bash the parents this this could be um it could be a wider collective it could be um the society the culture your person grew up in and maybe the sort of um the feminine energy the influences they experienced as they were growing up um let's we'll look deeper into this the tower in reverse there your person is struggling with some ego battle here you know the death of the ego the self doesn't want to let the ego die because the ego is we that's where we get our identity you know the things we associate with the things we like don't like if the ego goes we panic who am i what do i like well where am i heading you know if i don't have the ego then i'm lost that's not true but it feels that way when the the ego is being changed or feels threatened so your person is, is kind of resisting making this change even though it's happening and even though it's going to be beneficial and look we have judgment on the back see freedom rebirth so already I'm sensing a bit of tension. You might feel that your person's evolving. There's growth in the 5D, but when it comes to the 3D, they're repeating old patterns, old behaviours. Or things seem to have changed and then suddenly they'll revert back to something you've seen before and it might feel disappointing. Um, and this is why it's like their ego is clinging on. You know, imagine someone being pushed off of a cliff and they, they're literally holding on with their fingertips. You know, that's the ego trying um, its hardest not to let go. Ah, judgment's back. Absolutely. This healing is great. You know, in the long run, it's bringing about the complete transformation. I'm almost, this gives me in um, uh, the sort of Batman you know vibe i think it's one of the more recent films where he you know we see him as a kid falling into um the hole with all the bats and then he sort of claws his way out that sort of a thing so your person's coming out stronger having faced their fears yeah look the lovers in reverse the flip side of the devil so they're really deep in their shadow right now we have the knight of cups in the reverse and we have the magician okay so let's get into this and have a look Tell us about this King of Swords energy, please, Spirit. Uh, we have Sagittarius, we have Scorpio here, and we have Gemini energy. Tell us about the King of Swords, please. Two of Wands. And, yeah, the Devil. So there is some real um, 
low vibrational programming here that served your person at one point um, but not anymore now it's holding them back now it's hindering them and definitely within your connection um, like I said the lovers is the flip side of the devil and we have them here together and your person seeing you know two of wands this is having opportunity it's saying I can stick with what I know I can stay with where I am and, and the way I do things but I'm bored I'm tired I know this weighs worn out and it's keeping me restricted and limited or I could go down the other path which is probably going to be one hell of an adventure I'm going to be happier I'm going to feel stronger within myself I'm going to go on such a journey if, if I go for it but it's so scary it's completely unknown and this is the battle between the ego what we know what's safe and trusting your gut feeling your higher self your intuition and continuing to evolve and expand and that, that's kind of what's going on with your person in the 5d right now okay we have the five of swords in the reverse why do we have the Knight of Cups reverse, please? Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Again, there's a part of your person that say, no, you know, don't transform. Don't leave me behind. That quiet little voice that's saying, you know, don't step out there. Don't step into the unknown. It's scary. Don't push forward in this connection. Don't trust. You were hurt before when you trusted. You know, um, don't go for this Ace of Pentacles. Nothing is, is given here. Nothing is... Um, sorry nothing is guaranteed the ace is an opportunity and this voice is saying to your person an opportunity isn't certain you know you you might face a massive disappointment here i don't think this tiny voice is going to win because with the tower showing up it's only a matter of time before the tower you know falls to the ground um the ego can on, only hold on to that cliff for so much longer so you may have been seeing in the 3D a push and pull energy, your person comes forward, they retreat, they come forward, they retreat. And, you know, maybe the last time they retreated was a while ago and you've been in no communication since. And this is what is going on. They're basically being pushed through a kind of dark night of the soul energy. This is big, heavy energy, the tower, the magician, the devil, also represented by the lovers in reverse as well. We've got rebirth with judgment and that's first out, you know, right at the front here. So this is the focus of your person's higher self, getting them to go through this rebirth. On the back we have the Eight of Pentacles and we have the Wheel of Fortune. So your person seems like they've been quiet because they've been doing a lot of inner work. It's taking a lot out of them and it's really, really divinely guided. So even if they wanted to stop this and say, no, I'll go back to a more frivolous energy, spirit is saying, no, you have to go through this, unfortunately. It's, it's part of your soul's growth. <clears throat> maybe they even you know sort of wrote this into their soul contract before they incarnated in this lifetime that at this particular point in their lives they wanted to begin to evolve to see things differently to have their foundation shaken okay queen of pentacles with the magician please queen of pentacles with the magician yeah we have the moon in reverse Okay, so for some of you, your person is now beginning to realise in adulthood that someone they looked up to, someone they thought could do anything, um, could create anything, always had the answers, always had their best interests at heart, actually um, was not that person. Whether, whether it's someone who, you know, really could have done better with your person or someone who was trying their best and, and just, you know, wasn't there for your person in the way they needed. They're starting to realise the person they held up as their saviour, you know, um, maybe wasn't quite as wonderful as they thought for their whole lives. So why is this important for you? Well, this Queen of Pentacles figure, whoever this is in your person's life, maybe they have very fixed opinions. For example, um, you have to get married, you have to stay in the same job for your whole life, you can like green peppers, but you can't like red peppers. You can um, exercise only twice a week. You know, who knows? Whatever they are, but your person just took these on and accepted them as their own and didn't challenge them because they thought, well, this person's incredible. So they obviously know the best ways to do things. Um, 
And these thoughts, these opinions, values, judgments may have been getting in the way of your connection, particularly because these high vibrational connections challenge us and our 3D perspectives, you know, to see things differently, they remove limitations. So if your person was sticking hard and fast to this person's way of doing things, their thoughts, their rules, um, your person was being kept limited, stuck, and, and possibly being kept away from you in this connection. So they're breaking free of that now. Yeah, see, absolutely, judgment in the reverse. I won't say this person was keeping them stuck, but the influence of this person that your person was holding on to was keeping them from growing, from transforming. And you see, that's exactly what this whole spread is about. Judgment reversed, judgment in the upright. It's about your person breaking free and realizing who they are now in this moment, not a week ago, a year ago, 20 years ago, yesterday, you know, but who are they now? So big, big, heavy energy here, actually. Okay, so let's keep going. Okay, spirit. So let's get two cards. Let's get one for your person and one for you. And then let's get the connecting energy between you in the 5D. So we're still in the 5D at the moment. So can you give us a card for my viewer's person, please? What's the energy surrounding this person in the 5D? wow oh my goodness authenticity exactly the spiral in the eye is the universal symbol for the all-knowing you might be seeing some painful truths for the first time my goodness spirit is asking you to keep pushing forward you're doing better than you feel exactly these painful truths this person maybe they idolize the way they were living it's, it's not for them you know that this maybe um, this sort of codependent behavior or this need to manipulate that it's, it's not serving them. Oh my goodness, look at this. So we have authenticity and I don't know if this is going to focus, but I'll hold it here anyway. And it's the number two, which is making me think of that two of wands. Your person is facing a decision. Do they stick with their limiting current beliefs that have kept them safe so far or do they expand? Goodness, okay. So let's get one for you oh <laughs> separation yes okay separations are orchestrated by universe for us to take a step back and work on ourselves we have no control over other people and we should learn to let go of codependent behaviors spirit is asking you to learn unconditional love for self and this is really interesting because it's 37, which breaks down to a 10, which breaks back down to a 1, which is the magician, which is the self. So here is um, is your card. So you see spirit saying you're in separation for good reason, no communication for good reason. Your person is learning to evolve, to really step out there on their own. And, um, and for you, this is about loving yourself in the meantime. And trusting, you know, having faith in the process because... Going through this, this transformation is going to make your person much better placed to be an authentic partner for you in the 3D. Okay, so let's have a look at the connecting energy between you both. And this deck, if you like it, it's um, I have a discount code, $5 off, and um, the info is down below. Ah, we have the broken for your connecting energy. So it says every person in your life serves a purpose. You never love in vain unless by choice. If you have had a broken heart recently, what can you take from the pain into your next relationship to make you a better partner? And this is the number nine. So we're almost at completion here, the ending of this cycle. So, you know, depending on how you feel, you might be thinking about expanding, opening up, moving on to someone else. And in, in which case, what can you take? You know, as it said, what lessons have you learned? If you're saying, no, I'm not, I'm not looking to move on. I'm ready to have another go here to move into a brand new cycle. What have you learned? You know, what has your person learned that you can both take forward? Your person's learning authenticity. I guess you might be learning about not overextending, about maybe um, sort of trusting the process a little more. Okay. So 
what else, please? What's going on in the 5D? Have faith in your dreams. So it seems like, you know, it's... It, something about this might seem like a dream to a fantasy, impossible. And uh, Spirit is saying, have faith. Be bold and make the first move. So if that resonates in whichever way, I would say take that. Do you know what? I'm still looking at this card. And the reason is, it's an odd image. To me, it sort of looks like the moon is out. But it kind of looks like daytime. You know, sometimes you look up into the sky and it, it will be like midday, but you can still see the moon. Um, ordinarily, when it's daytime, we see the sun, not the moon, but it doesn't mean it's not there. So we're looking at the 5D. You can feel this connection. You can feel this change. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not there. It's all about timing. You know, when the sun sets, we can see the moon. When it's the right time, you'll be able to see this um, forward movement, this authenticity, your your growth that you've been through. You know, the, you'll be able to see the evidence of it. We have confidence is your key to success. So be confident in yourself. Be confident in your in your. Um, in your dream here or your dreams don't let other people tell you it's nonsense it won't happen often people won't understand these high vibrational connections if you feel it's it's become detrimental it's it's become toxic abusive in any sort of way you know that sort of thing of course act appropriately step away from this but um otherwise yeah a lot of people um they try to give good advice, but maybe it won't necessarily be applicable to your situation. So definitely trust yourself the most here. Okay, so let's do one final deck before we look at your person's 3D messages to you. Oh, goodness. Um, okay, we have vanity. So your person really, yeah, they're being asked to look look at themselves look at their reflection who are they are they the person that they want to be you know do they like what is reflected back at them who is reflected back at them are they presenting themselves and showing up in the world in the way that they feel happy with they're having to really look at themselves look within look at their lives the things they believe the things they do so some real tough self-reflection here and i'm feeling like they've got nowhere to run they can't hide behind anything or anyone anymore anything else oh party time okay interesting i think i'll get one to clarify and see how this fits in because it feels like a completely different energy wow we have revenge gosh okay so for some of you um your person or spirit is saying there's someone in the mix a third energy that energetically even is kind of interfering in some way but this could be your person falling back on codependent behaviors perhaps they sort of rebelled a bit acted out against doing this inner work looking at themselves and they maybe have distracted themselves with other people with um you know partying drinking socializing distancing themselves from you what else and we have hope and in this card we only have two people not three in this revenge card if you look in the background we have the two people to me this does remind me of like a sort of a twin flamey kind of energy you know see how they're very vulnerable they're naked with one another and then there's this clothed person in the front who's not very happy about these people and their connection in this card we just have the two people so hope, you know, hope, healing, rebirth. This has definitely been a journey and your person's being guided towards hope, towards transformation. Again, that image of like coming out of the, um, the cave with all of the bats having faced your biggest fear. Okay, yeah, and we have faith and piety on the back. So have faith, as it says, you know, in that card, have faith in your dreams. Okay, so that's what's going on in the 5D. Some really, really big stuff there. And I'm not surprised if you are feeling that something is shifting um, because it definitely is. But then also you're saying, well, in the 3D, I'm not seeing it. Or we move forward and then we step back and then we move forward and then we step back. Okay, 
Right, I think I'll pause and clear this away and, uh, and then we'll move into the 3D. Okay, so let's have a look now at your person's messages to you in the 3D. So what does their 3D self want you to know, want to say to you at this time? What messages would they say if you were in communication? Okay, so Spirit, can you please bring through the messages from this person to my viewer? What would they say right now? <laughs> Judgment in the reverse. So your person, you know, maybe they're completely aware of their 5D self and 3D self and they know exactly about all about the transformation they're going to um, going through. But even if they don't, they understand that they have to make some sort of a decision that they're being pulled to make some kind of um, choice to go through a rebirth, to see things differently, to show up differently. So they would say to you, I, I realise, I feel I've got to make some decision about something, but I haven't done it yet, I'm not sure about this yet. I understand, Nine of Pentacles reversed, that as I am, I'm stuck. You know, I've been, been become stuck in old patterns, old ways of thinking, old ways of doing things, and I understand something is shifting here. Three of Cups, you know, can we go out? Can we have a nice time? Can we speak? Can we reconcile? Ten of Swords in reverse. See how we have this mixed energy of, um, you know, a really heavy energy going through some sort of really pivotal transformation and then, hey, let's go out and have a fun time. And then, oh my God, this is so painful, you know, shedding my old skin. And you might be seeing this play out or feeling it you know coming off of them we have justice in the reverse libra energy nine of pentacles yeah you know your person would say I've, I've pulled back i'm really focusing on myself right now i'm not trying to be selfish but i understand that before i can think about committing i have to be good on my own i have to know i i have my fin finances down my home my health my confidence you know, if we get together too soon, I'm going to be codependent in one way or another. I want to make sure that I'm going to bring, you know, a lot, that I can bring a lot to this connection. Not that I can bring something, but I'm also taking a lot as well. So this is them truly not really focusing on anybody else. They're not out chasing anyone else or anything like that. Focusing on themselves, getting themselves into a really good place where they feel confident uh, as well. We have the Page of Pentacles, so they really would want to bring you something, an offer, a gift. Um, we'll clarify and see what this is, but it's like they want to give you something, something to make you happy, something that makes them happy. We've got Leo energy here. The Sun is about growth, also a card of, of rebirth, of healing. So it's like here, this first line, this is, this is the necessity. I have to do this inner work. I have to get really confident and comfortable on my own this is what they want to do i want to just go out and have a nice time with you to speak with you to reconcile with you right now okay page of wands in the reverse they're saying i can't go down this road again that's just what i heard so take that as it resonates maybe you've both repeated a cycle over and over and over more times than, than both of you would like maybe they're saying in my life, I tend to start things with all of the optimism, but none of the, the resources to back me up, you know, tangible resources, internal resources as well. And, and it ends up failing. And I feel that I've got lots of false starts that I've accumulated in my life. And I don't want that to happen again here. I can't do that. Not with you. We have the three of ones. So they're hopeful. They're looking out to the future. There's a bit of a feeling of like, look, we've come back to this. It's unfair. I feel stuck. I'm trying to get out of this. I want things to move quicker than they are. So let's go in and have a look. And if you actually, let's just stop here a minute. If we look at this nine of coins with the page of pentacles, you know, if someone's already in this energy, they have nine coins and then they're offering you this one here, that makes 10. And we know the 10 of pentacles is about a commitment family you and another person and whoever or whatever else if there are other people you know um whatever family looks like to them this is them saying okay I, i've made it to this energy now i have something to offer now i have something to give so something really valuable okay 
So tell us, what is this pentacle, please, that this page is holding, that this person wants to offer? Oh, the king of swords. It could be truth, a truth you've been waiting a long, long time to hear. Um, an answer, insight into something, um, knowledge about what happened or, you know, just some kind of clarity and truth. Is your person saying... I see the truth, this is how I feel, this is my opinion, this is what I want. So you know where you stand. And the sun, again. So they want to bring you clarity, this is the gift. They want to say to you, everything you've been saying, I see it, I'm not confused, and, and this is what I think. So, you know, I guess you've been in the dark, and you are, you know, no communication, of course. So this is the gift that they want to bring. We have the devil. So Capricorn energy, we have Leo, I can't remember if I said. Um, I feel Taurus as well with that Knight of Pentacles. This doesn't feel negative to me, not after all of this inner work. It, it just, it cannot be a codependent devil. This has got to be your person saying, I am so focused on you, on us. I'm focused on, you know, the 3D aspect of this connection. How are we going to move this forward? When can I see you? When can we talk on the phone? You know, are we going to live together? Do you want commitment? All of the things that this King of Swords is clear about and wants to know from you. How do you feel about this? What do you think about this? How do we move forward? This person has a lot of passion for you with the sun and the devil coming out together. I feel that in coming forward, what they would like to do is present themselves as being calm and rational. And it might start that way, but very quickly it gets heated and um, they, you know, the way, they, the way that they're speaking and communicating becomes very impassioned because they can't. They can't push all of this passion down, you know, and intellectualise their feelings. It's like it just bursts out of them. Tell me about this Three of Cups, please. The Six of Swords, yes, your person wants to move forward. You know, we're moving from the Six of Swords, we're going from the Five of Swords into the Six. So confusion, both of you being confused, questioning, doubting yourselves, each other, maybe having arguments. And they're saying, let's just move forward. Let's sail into smoother water here. Also, the Six of Swords, if there is physical distance, again, they do want to come and see you. They really want to, to say, let's, let's meet, let's go for a drink, or let's get some dinner, let's you know, I don't know, whatever you guys like to do, let's do that, um, let's physically see each other, let's spend some time, let's enjoy each other's company. Okay, Ten of Swords, Eight of Cups, see, this person's saying, I've had lots of disappointment in my life, and only now have I begun to realise that I have played a role in these situations that have felt unfinished, or painful, or disappointing. You know, I've had to walk away from things more times than I would like to count. Um, and I felt emotionally unsatisfied or disappointed with these things. This can be romantic connections, you know, anything, familial situations. Um, maybe they relocated somewhere, started a new job and all of these things, you know, so many disappointments. Um, but your person is realising that, that they played a role in this as well. And they're saying, I'm not going to rush my healing because I don't want this scenario to play out between us as well as all of those past experiences that I've had. Okay. Justice, please, with the three of wands. Two of cups in the reverse. So they're saying it's unfair. It's unfair how things have how things are, how they've gone between us. In the 5D, yes, you both definitely feel this connection. In the 3D, as we know, there's no communication. There feels like there's some distance. Your person is actually manifesting you back. So if they know about the law of attraction, they might be consciously manifesting you. If not, they're manifesting you most likely through their thoughts and their feelings, you know, constantly thinking about you, feeling you in their heart space. If they think about you before they fall asleep, that's them setting the intention effectively and then releasing it, which is perfect for manifesting. So that's exactly what they're doing right now. OK, any other messages, please, from my viewers person? Queen of Coins has just popped out. Six of Coins in the reverse. Three of Wands in, in the <coughs> excuse me, in the reverse. So remember when we were looking, if you watched that part of the reading, at their 5D self, realising that a Queen of Coins figure... Um, 
maybe it wasn't everything they thought or who they thought um and <clears throat> that this person's beliefs values way of doing things that's fine for them but your person has their own mind it's like they're saying to you so i feel you you know some of you will know who this is they want you to know this person is no longer going to be such a heavy influence the six of coins they're no longer going to be juggling between you and this person or their beliefs about your connection and this person's beliefs you know three of ones in reverse it's this this energy this influence this mindset that has created to some degree this separation between you and your person is saying that's not right and and you know for a lot of you i don't really think this is a karmic of course it could be but it feels deeper than that you know like this person's influence was ingrained within your person and their psyche from childhood you know and and it was it happened so early that your person as they grew up they didn't even realize it they couldn't even see they just adopted this energy as their own you know they had to sit back and, and deliberately ask themselves is this my energy is this my perspective the life i'm living is it the one i want to live to, to find out that actually it wasn't entirely so this is nice because there are overlaps your person's 5d self is syncing up nicely with their 3d self and um, i don't feel too much resistance of course the ego is freaking out but um you know it, i don't think it can resist um for much longer because the transformation is already taking place your person is stepping into this nine of pentacles energy it's kind of like just shifting out the last parts really oh, and justice in reverse on the back again so they know they've done you an injustice in some way they feel hard done by as well you know they may at times have blamed fate the universe or told themselves they just have bad luck that things don't work out but they're, they're you know they're taking more ownership these days for things that are happening also, if you've been um, consciously or unconsciously, deliberately or not, inspiring your person in terms of things like co-creation, manifestation, you're helping them to feel empowered to see that they can create the reality that they're existing within. But yeah, if we take a step back, the lighter energy here is that your person's saying, my God, I really just want to see you. I want to spend time with you. Can we go out can we go on a date can we have some fun can we get some food together you know can we whatever you like to do can we go to a car show together or um go running together i don't know what you guys like to do <laughs> okay so what else please what else does this person want to say you are irreplaceable and we have, I just got caught up in the moment. Okay, so they may have become distracted here. Thinking again, back to those cards, we had party time uh, and then revenge. So it took them a while for some of them to realise you're irreplaceable and they distracted themselves with something silly here and then regretted it. Um, mm, it's easier to just stay away right now yeah I mean if they are going through this dark night of the soul moment they're probably feeling like they want to stay away from everyone right now you are an angel so they they really look up to you really admire and respect you and um, I do feel like I said you've been motivating inspiring them even if you've not been you know trying to karma is a bitch i finally got mine so if some of them were trying to take some kind of revenge or make you jealous that definitely backfired i feel too much pressure right now from their higher selves okay and we have would you give me the chance to make things right between us and two more wow i care too much about what others think right now this feels like a past energy to me this is something they've been wrestling with and i keep comparing others to you and look look what they realize when they do this that you're irreplaceable let's see what's on the back mm, this makes sense am i good enough for you in the answer in the answer in the past your person would have answered for themselves and they would have said no you know they had to believe and they still have to believe that they are they've got some work to do you know to feel that they're good enough for you that they can bring something to you not just take from you okay so before we go 
Um, I don't want to confuse anyone. This isn't clearly it's not a pick a deck reading, but I just thought to get some some sort of nuanced um, messages. I've I've pulled out three options of of these lovers oracle cards. You know, I shuffled and 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 just let them fall out, and each has two cards. So if you want to, of course, some people don't like this, they feel that there's too much pressure choosing, but if you want to, we can do this. So I'll hold them up to the screen and you can choose one, two or three, and I'll just read out what the cards say for, for some more sort of tailored messages from your person this Valentine's Day. Okay, so we have one, we have two, and finally we have three. Okay, so pile one says, the two cards say, we'll start with this one, new beginning, a new adventure awaits, embrace it and live your dreams passionately. And the second card, beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. Okay. So definitely take what resonates, what stands out from these cards to you. For me, this feels like Spirit saying there is a new beginning coming. And we've been seeing that all over this reading. So that's very exciting. And this is a really good time for both of you to think about what has worked, what hasn't worked, any behaviours you'd like to change. So being really conscious of not bringing anything low vibrational into this new beginning. Okay, so second pile. First message says manifesting miracles your dream is soon to become reality trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance so that makes me think of a card we saw that says has that says have faith in your dreams okay and the second card you may not always understand why certain things happen however there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life through turmoil a blessing will soon be revealed gosh so if you chose this pile it looks like it's been a difficult ride so far or maybe recently and spirit's saying you may have gone through things that that seem painful and you may have looked at them and said surely this is a tower moment surely this is the end why is this happening and actually spirit's saying because you're manifesting a miracle here this had to happen first even if it doesn't make sense now or it didn't in the moment it will do okay and for the last pile, first card says, freedom, there is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. And we have twin flames, your passion ignites. Okay, so there's a couple of ways we can look at this. The first is saying this is confirmation of a twin flame connection or high vibrational soulmate connection, if you were wondering. You know, you, you both feel very, very passionately about this and it's getting things moving and any blockages are being cleared out of your way. Um, the slightly less romantic way of looking at this is Spirit saying, if your twin flame is driving you crazy, you can find freedom. You know, you, you can keep moving forward. You don't have to stay in this situation. But um, as it's a Valentine's Day reading, you know, and you're here, I guess you care about your, your twin flame, your person. So take the first message if that resonates. But, you know obviously do what's best for you but um either way there's freedom there's release maybe you've been working to to move through some obstacles here or to feel differently to think differently to release an attachment to time frames that sort of thing okay so thank you for this the suggestion for this reading i hope it was interesting or fun or helpful on valentine's day um i'll be back tomorrow with a regular check-in with your person so their thoughts feelings um, what they want to say, any action they might take, blockages, you know, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, that's it. So that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and we will speak tomorrow. Bye.